This is the High School Coaches Spotlight brought to you by Kelly Burt Dozer. And today we're visiting with Bryan High School swim coach Sarah Milne. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I want to get started just by getting to know you a little bit more. Where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from Temple, Texas. Okay, so right down the road. Um, how long have you been the head coach at Bryan High? This is my first year as the head coach. Uh, however, I was the assistant for the two years before then. Okay. And, you know, looking back at when, you know, maybe you were a student um, or when you were an athlete yourself, when did you decide that coaching was kind of the route that you wanted to take? Well, coaching uh, it was a fairly recent decision, uh, probably about three years ago, whenever I uh, began teaching and uh, they showed interest in the assistant coach position uh, with me. I, you know, I took it and just kind of went from there. Uh, I ended up really enjoying uh, being an assistant coach uh, and being able to work with the kids. And so, I mean, from there, it kind of just took off. Okay, so you were just a teacher initially, and then you jumped into the coaching aspect of things. That's correct. Okay. Were you a swimmer when you were growing up? I was. I competitively swam for six years. Coach Milne, looking back, which coach of yours influenced you the most as an athlete? I would have to say Trey Sullivan. Mm -hmm. He was the head coach of uh, Temple Swimming. He still is uh, to this day. And I actually, uh, had, you know, I'm blessed enough to get to call him up and, you know, talk to him about different coaching aspects as well as, you know, ask him questions uh, whenever I have questions. So mm -hmm. he's really great. And Coach Milne, how would you describe your coaching style? I would probably describe it as, you know, we we as a team, I really i am very competitive uh, as an athlete and as a coach. Uh, so I do like to win. We, we work our kids really hard, but at the same time, there's that family uh, aspect of a swim team. I, I'm sure you've you might have heard of it, you might have not, but the swim team really is a family and to really make sure those kids are enjoying the sport and enjoying each other and, you know, having the ability to laugh as well. So, And, you know, you talked about the swim team being a family. It is kind of an individual sport. How do you guys at Bryan High really create that sense of team and that we're all here for each other and not just individually? Right. I think uh, a lot of the swimmers and a lot of the things that we, you know, we encourage them to do um, is, you know, during those indiv individual races, cheering each other on, you know, making sure that somebody is always there at the end of the lane, uh, cheering their teammates on, you know, being able to talk to your teammates about anything and everything. I know a lot of our swimmers like to get together uh, they, we have different events throughout the season uh, where they get together before football games and, um, you know, just really that bonding experience, not just inside the pool, but mm -hmm. outside the pool. They already spend a whole lot of time with each other in the pool, but uh, outside the pool, we really encourage getting together and having those team bonding experiences. This is the High School Coaches Spotlight brought to you by Kelly Burt Dozer. And we're visiting with Sarah Milne from Brian Swimming. Um, coach, you know, in coaching, there's always talk about the best way to keep your athletes motivated. But what does it for you? What motivates you to keep improving as a coach and to push through some of those harder times during the season? Well, I know once, whenever we get to um, the bulk of our season and those those key meets and sometimes even just the, the little meets, you know, just seeing the, I guess, the excitement of, you know, somebody getting a best time or dropping a couple of seconds here and there, especially after they've been working really hard, really push, pushes me to be a better coach and want to, you know, work harder to help them uh, to achieve their goals. Looking back, what has been one of your favorite moments, not necessarily in just this head coaching year for you, but since you started coaching at Bryan High, what's one of your favorite moments or meets as a coach? Mm, that's a tough one. <laughs> Let's see. Well, looking back, one of the first initial moments meeting the team about two years ago, uh, we had an inner squad meet and uh, the kids pushed us in the pool as an introductory <laughs> Um, 
congratulations, you know, being a coach. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of an old memory. I guess one of the more uh, recent memories was having uh, one of my swimmers, uh, who's a senior this year, uh, get all the way up to almost making uh, the state meet this year. He was so close, and he tried so hard. But between, I think it was, between the district and the region meet in his event, he probably dropped about, I want to say, seven seconds wow. off of his um, event, which is really, uh, I, I want to say, really unheard of. I mean, mm-hmm. it can be done, uh, but for the amount of seconds to be dropped, you know, just within, you know, a week's time. Right. And for a senior to be doing that, you know, it really, it really showed his dedication towards mm-hmm. it. And coach, I want to talk a little bit about your school now. Why do you love being a Brian Viking? Oh, why do I love being a Brian Viking? Oh, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, really, Brian ISD and the Brian Vikings—they've been such, you know, such like a family to me. I mean, I've had so many mentors in the school. Uh, so many, so much of the administration is so supportive. In the coaching aspect, I know I can go and talk with uh, our athletic director anytime that I need to, you know. Uh, and so it's it's just one of those things that it, it really just feels more. It, it doesn't necessarily feel as like a you know a hard like a hard job mm-hmm. to do all the time. It's you know Brian ISD has made it really easy, I would say. Uh, to come to work every day and really enjoy my job. You mentioned that you were a teacher. What classes do you teach at Bryan? I currently teach biology. Okay. And, you know, obviously you create a really special bond with your swimmers because of how much time you spend with them at the pool. But how do you kind of make that connection with your students in the classroom as well? Uh, I would say in the classroom, you know, really just uh, asking how their day has been, uh, asking them about uh, their different activities that they participate in. I have a lot of kids that participate in basketball, track, you know, tennis, all of those other sports. And, you know, just as a coach, even though I don't coach those sports and not, I don't necessarily know a whole lot about those sports, you know, just asking, you know, the kids, hey, what's going on in your life really, you know, mm-hmm. shows that you care. This is the High School Coaches Spotlight, and we're visiting with the head swimming coach for Brian High, Sarah Milney. Coach, I want to talk a little bit about this year's team. Uh, how many student athletes are involved in swimming at Brian High? So competitively, we probably have about 21 on our team. However, we have uh, seventh period swimming, which is also uh, more of a learn to swim program oh, okay, where cool. kids can come in and start to learn how to swim and you know, hopefully get up to that point. We actually had one. A lady joined the Learn to Swim program, and she got up to the point to where she could compete. So altogether, of students in swimming, I would say around 30, uh, the ones that swim competitively in those meets around 21, 22. Okay, cool. And, you know, you have the unique task of coaching both boys and girls. Does your coaching style change at all depending on which team you're working with? Uh, there's not much that changes. They all practice, you know, at the same time. Uh, they all practice, you know, the same sets. There might be a little bit of time variations mm-hmm. depending on who is faster uh, and who might not be making those time sets. But looking at the team overall, uh, you know, some of some of the girls keep up with some of the guys' times and. Uh, So it really just depends time-wise of where they are and their swimming abilities as to uh, if there are any alterations that I need to make Mm -hmm. when coaching. And I know you mentioned that this season is over, but already looking at next season, who are some of your star swimmers that you're really expecting big things out of next year? Well, uh, one of our big stars is Julia Cook. I'm sure you've heard of her. Uh, before she was able to win the state title and the 50 free and the 100 free this year. Uh, And also she gained uh, two state records in both of those events. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, very cool. I want to give you a chance to, I know you mentioned that you do have an assistant coach, um, Travis Kaiser. If you could just talk a little bit about him and what he really adds to the program. Of course. 
Uh, well, Travis Kaiser, he is a new assistant this year uh, or this this past year, and he has a really good background in, uh, I guess you would say, the dry lands, or we, we call them dry lands as swimmers, uh, but the uh, more of the weightlifting and, you know, body weights, just normal exercising, mm-hmm. which previously hadn't been incorporated into our program before, but this season I, I saw the need of it uh, and for it as our uh, swimmers, I felt really needed to gain some uh, some more muscle and some more strength uh, just outside of the water to help them with their abilities inside of the water. And uh, he really helped construct some of those workouts, um, help lead those workouts, you know, making sure that kids had proper form, uh, you know, just another set of eyes to, to make sure that whenever we're doing something that we, you know, haven't done in the you know, in the past that everybody's going to stay safe. We're going to make sure that we uh, stay ready for the actual swim season. So that was one major way that he helped out. Mm -hmm. Uh, Another major way that he helped out is being a male coach and having, um, you know, being a male role model to the young gentlemen on our team really helped out as well. Mm -hmm. As previously, we didn't have a male role model or male coach Uh, on deck so that's really been helpful as well and then finally coach you know overall from the two coaches to the athletes to the fans just kind of talk about why brian swimming is such a special program wow brian swimming is really a very special program i'm you know just starting off with our kids our kids you can definitely see that you know they love to encourage one another they love to help each other out uh, and then working your way up to the parents, man, I have the best parents, I'm pretty sure, in the state. Uh, <laughs> I mean, from everything from, you know, coach, do you need me to bring, you know, this food? Coach, do you need to do any of the swimmers? Um, did they forget anything? You know, coach, uh, what do you need me to do to help you out, you know, for this event or for this meet? Uh, so they're they're a great support system, you know, not only with their kids, but also, you know, helping me out and helping helping us out as coaches. Mm-hmm. They've been great. Uh, and so really, you know, just just the whole family aspect, like I talked about earlier as mm-hmm. well. I mean, it's it's a camaraderie that is like none other. Well, Coach Milney, thank you so much for being today's High School Coaches Spotlight, and uh, best of luck with the rest of your year and going into next season. Thank you so much.